Hi, there's lots of background stamps out there, but there's also lots of border stamps or single stamps that can be used to create custom backgrounds. For example, in this particular card, you'll see that these are all triangles, and look how perfectly they lined up. It turns out this is a single stamp that this designer stamped over and over to create that design. But it's something that's unique just to this card that you're not going to find anywhere else. How about this one, where again took the triangle and did it, flipped it back and forth, and notice that the colors are laying over each other, which works beautifully with this particular color palette. Again, it's a stamp set that's very easy to use singly and then create a background. On this one, we have some chevrons that all we've done is flip them back and forth. This is a, a border, and so you just stamp it multiple times to create that look. Let me show you how easy it is to create this style where you're using a border stamp. I'm going to start off with a larger piece of paper than I want. That way, if I don't get everything stamped perfectly, I cut off the part I want. But when I'm doing backgrounds, I usually try and start with a larger piece of paper. It just makes things easier. I've got my ink, and I'm going to use this clear stamp that I've already put on the block. And I'm going to ink up this stamp and I'm just because it's a larger stamp it's easier to put the ink down on the stamp than the other way around. So once I get my stamp all inked I like to turn it the direction that's easiest which to, for me is horizontal and I'm going to line that up and stamp it. Now the first one's the easy one because you're just creating that one side. The next one is where you want to set up how much spacing you're going to have between each item in this background. So again I've inked up my stamp and because I'm using a clear stamp, it's much easier to see when I'm lining things up. And I can actually kind of peek underneath and see where those stamps are and see how close they're going to be. So I press it down and I have my next part. Ink it again. Line it up. And again, I can either look at it from the top or I can look at it from the side to get the spacing that I'd like. Press it down firmly. And you keep repeating this process until you have the background you want. And again, let me show you this original project with the chevrons. It's just repeated side by side, trimmed down to the size of paper that you want for the project you're making. So look at your border stamps, your single stamps, and see what kind of backgrounds you can create to create a custom project. Have fun creating.